jumpstart today talking about failure. For starters, I don't like the way it makes me feel. It's nearly impossible for me to rationally look at my failure when I'm in the middle of coming to grips with the reality that I've failed, even though I know through personal experience that every single time I've ever failed, it's made me stronger, more understanding, and wiser. When I'm in the middle of the failing thing, there is no way for me to see it as something that might potentially be good for me later in life. I think John Wooden has the best perspective. He said, adversity is the state in which man most easily becomes acquainted with himself, being especially free of admirers then. How true is that? When's the last time you saw people standing in line to admire a failure? Uh, that would be never. Which is exactly why failure is so profoundly effective. Since there's not a lot of people flocking around failure, there's not a lot of distractions. Without distractions, you can more easily get to a vulnerable place, a frame of mind that's teachable. Vulnerability and raw emotion are powerful. They spark contemplation, introspection, and self-examination. Failure is not fun, but it can be productive. So today, let's ask him to help us to see failure for what it truly is, a powerful catalyst to analyze weaknesses and gain insight, a way to expand our understanding so we're not afraid to try again, but challenged instead with a renewed sense of determination. Now go out there and make it a great day and I'll see you next time.